All right, so the question is, hey, how can I create a work order in QBO? And you're like, well, there's not a, the question was, is there a work order form in QBO? And it's like, no. There's not a specific work no. order form, but there's always gray areas and there's always things you can try. Because you know in Premier and, um, I mean, there's no work order in Pro either. In Premier and Enterprise, there is just by renaming the sales order to work order. Right. Um, and, and stuff like that. I guess in Pro you could do a, a pending invoice and call it work order, but that's, I mean, people are going to forget it's pending and that's just going to be a mess. Totally. So in QBO, you can, and there's two options. Now, the first thing I did was suggested a delayed charge, and I thought that was really nifty. I figured because it's non-posting, right? I could, but I can't name it, rename it work order, and that was the first red flag. I was like, right, but I can't actually rename this work order um, because you can't customize a delayed charge form, but it is non-posting, so at least I could like maybe do the numbering, custom number, do W01 or whatever, and do it all the way up and put in the description because this can then go to an invoice, right? Uh, however, the accountant at the firm, you know, the, the consultant said, well, I didn't send her the delayed charge because she said that they found a work order, and I was like, oh, well, what they're using is the estimate. And I don't know why I didn't think of that first. Now, he didn't say they're using the estimate form, but as soon as he said, oh, they found a work order form, I was like, oh, right, of course. The other option, which is actually better, the estimate. Because the estimate I can customize, and it's non-posting, but what's cool is I can track the status of it on the estimate and, and include that column in a report. So if I just go to custom form styles and I choose a new style, and I'm going to choose estimate, you know, I can actually change the name of it to be, uh, you know, work order. But, you know, I'll just leave it at this and then go to appearance, and then the alignment looks fine, and there's my cool... Um, uh, Arizona thing. There we go. And in the header, here's where I can show the form name, and then I could just... Now, unfortunately, the only problem... Well, in this particular instance, the estimate will be called a work order because I'm creating different templates now, which is nice. So you could have multiple estimates, one being called a contract or a bid or something like that. So I'm going to show the form name, and in this case, it's going to be work order, right? And then what I like is I do have the... I'm going to have to show it on the actual thing when I get there. Those are my custom fields. It's not in the activity table. The estimate does have a, let's just save it here. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to call it work order. Nice. Because it has the, the, the status. So now when I go to an estimate, I mean, you can't change it there, the name. But if I go to a, like a recent one that I did, we'll say, there's my estimate. I can change the... Uh, so I can customize and choose work order. And you only see it when you print it out, though. But notice, see this, this, this status thing? That is a column I can add to the est open estimates report or estimates by job or, or whatever the estimate list report or whatever it is. I, I know there's an estimate report in, in QBO. So if I save it, and then we're going to go to print preview, and we'll just print preview it because I know it should say, hopefully. Nice work order and, and, and so yeah see work order and, and there it is and then the report itself um, let's just cancel out of here um, is the uh, estimate report uh, it's going to be uh, probably oh maybe review sales I think in the estimate report it's here um, yeah estimates by customer so and oh hey Abby how you doing and then, um, you know, I can add that status in columns. So you could see the status of the actual work order, nice. which I think is cool than a delay charge. And when you print it out or email it, it'll say work order. Nice. Um, anyways. Are you so going to do a video? Are you going to do a video, like a quick video for this and put it up on the YouTube page? Mm -hmm. um, let me, I'm going to do the... you like, uh, mm -hmm. no. Okay. I'm going to do the core... Uh, videos first that I have to get done. Okay. And then oh, their status already there. Yeah. Duh. So then yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, well, then in the meantime, I'm gonna start doing all these other other ones. You know. You know what? In the meantime, we could clip. We could. Can you pull this after this gets done? Can you pull this and clip it and then just put this up there? Yeah. Totally. Okay.
Because I know you like to do that. Sometimes you will download these videos and then upload. You'll just click. Yeah, yeah, I can put in Camtasia and do that. That would be cool. That would be super swell. And so then you can see what's been closed or, you know, what work orders you're still working on and stuff. That's so, pretty sweet, I, dude. I like well, this. 